it's Carolyn Marie with Healing NRG, and it was a year ago that I ran into Dave the Raw Food Truck Driver, and he generously shared his story with us. And um, now, a year later, a week ago, I went to Alok to meet some friends for our birthday celebrations, and Dave the Raw Food Truck Driver was there again. A lot has happened in this last year, and he graciously sat down again and, and decided to share that story with us. So. Let's take a listen. Guys, <laughs> Synchronicity of Events, totally. I'm down here with uh, Teresa, my business partner, and uh, we're celebrating mm -hmm. Philip McCluskey's yeah, birthday, and I turn around, and who walks in but Carol? And I couldn't believe it, man. Oh, it's so fantastic to see you again. Yeah, it's so great to see you. And, you know, we were just discussing before the camera started rolling how this year has been so full of twists and turns and... You know, lots yes. of lots of stuff happening, and you were about to tell us about your experiences this year. Oh my gosh, it's been so much going on since the last time that we talked. Uh, uh, more healing and uh, uh, things of that nature, but uh, I had a heart attack and a stroke about what eight weeks ago. Eight weeks. Yeah. Eight weeks ago, I think. August twenty fifth. Yes, August twenty fifth. Um, I was in a hospital for ten months. I got airlifted over there, and. Uh, just so you know, I've had a problem with my heart. It does not beat correctly in the past. That's been years. And, and, and you mentioned that years. last year. I remember you, yes, you mentioned I you were did. still on some of those heart meds when we Trying spoke. Trying to get off mm -hmm. the heart medications, yeah. Uh, I do want to be honest with you guys. I was raw, uh, a raw organic vegan um, uh, during the time of the heart attack. Uh, and I still am. Uh, uh, but I had stopped juicing as much and as heavily about 90 days before that. Um, I got off of my regular pattern of heavy dark green leafy vegetable juicing and uh, there were some other things going on. Uh, I was taken off of my last heart medication, not by choice is how I'll put it to you. So I had this heart attack and stroke and the first person I called was Teresa. Uh, she's a healer and uh, I wanted healing. I wanted to, then I wanted to as soon as we got a hold of some phenomenal healers, uh, then I wanted to get to a naturopathic doctor. What happened was I had students in my truck, thank God I wasn't driving when I had the heart attack and stroke. Oh, yeah. And uh, I could still talk, but my, language, my speech was going pretty bad, per south pretty fast. Then they panicked, got out of the truck, and told me that they were calling 911. So, uh, I'm on the phone to Teresa, and I, I didn't know that you don't want any sudden, if you ever have a heart attack or stroke, you don't want any sudden up and down movements, changing your equilibrium. Uh, and I jumped out of the truck, it's about a six foot jump to the pavement, and the stroke came on full on. It was about 100 degrees out, he hits the pavement, the stroke yeah. goes into full effect because he's just rapid, rapidly dropped out of the truck. Uh, so. so that was my end of the conversation with her at that yeah, point. The phone went dead, I have no idea what's happening except that he was just talking to me while this stroke and heart attack is happening and oh my goodness, it was a yes. little bit of a stressful moment to say the least. Oh yes. I can imagine. And, and I do want to say something here to people. Carolyn, um, my journey into raw food for the last three years has taken me to a place where um, I believe I have the right to experiment and try alternative medicines and alternative healings and things, and that's what I'd like to talk to you a little bit about. To make a long story short, um, we got to the hospital. Uh, the first day I couldn't talk, my arm was completely out, and the, uh, most of my movement on my right side was out. When I arrived at the hospital, I could talk some, but could you understand what I was saying when you arrived? Not well. Not yeah. Well. Um, I mean, by uh, the time I arrived, his speech had started to come back a little bit. Yeah, so I had rapid, rapid recovery um, quickly, and even the doctors, all the nurses were telling me this. Contained a strictly raw, organic, yes. vegan diet the whole time we were at the hospital. Just, he politely I refused, refused to the hospital it. food. Yeah, and I so told I him I'd fast on water. Oh, good for you. Good for you. So I was preparing raw foods and, and smoothies and juices each day. And yeah. with the loving help of a nearby restaurant market called Nature's Market in Bakersfield. They were really a blessing. Okay. Yes, they were. So I was drinking dark green leafy vegetable smoothies. Um, that's all I was drinking the first few days until I started experimenting to see if I could eat food. So, so people understand what I was going through. 
the right side of my my throat was paralyzed. The right side of my tongue is paralyzed. I don't have any at this point. Didn't have any uh, taste buds. Uh, my entire left side of my face was paralyzed. Right side. And my, right side I'm sorry. Was paralyzed, and my 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 eye was drooping, and I was constantly biting myself when I my tongue when I tried mm. to eat food. So. So uh, we, we go through this, this rapid healing because I'm refusing to eat the hospital food. The, doc, the main doctor in charge finally got upset and wrote me off saying I wasn't following his instructions and he was no longer going to be my doctor uh, shortly before we left. It's an amazing journey that we've had since. Okay. I consider it an honor and a privilege and a blessing that I had the stroke and the heart attack. Certainly not encouraging anybody else to not call 911 when they have a heart attack and stroke. That was my choice and my decision not to do that. But what I am saying is that I now have the honor and privilege of healing, getting my heart beating correctly again without the scarring through the ventricles, with, with the top and bottom beating correctly, and with the last 20% of healing through raw, organic, vegan, and supplementation. Uh, and I consider that a great honor and privilege. And I'm actually excited about it. By the time I left the hospital, I was literally, I, I was crying thinking about it. Just what a privilege this is. Uh, then we started this incredible journey. And uh, uh, I'm going to let you share a little bit about it because you can articulate it much better than I was. But, but uh, uh, Well, you're doing great. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's kind of unbelievable to hear what you just went through only six weeks ago and to listen to you speak and and to look at you now it's amazing that you've made such a recovery already thank so, you thank yeah. you and, and part of that recovery was uh, these people that we met on this journey up to this point and I'm telling you near miraculous healings I mean um, we went from there we did the International Day of Juice Feasting mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. up in Seattle which went fantastically well and we have a lot of volunteers and gracious friends and people to oh thank my god for if that it wasn't for it them was, they, they really helped at a time when Dave wasn't really able yeah. to do I this had work. a heart attack and a stroke two weeks before the event or oh two and a half goodness. weeks wow. so and I spoke at it yes. later so yeah, that and event so was did amazing she. yes and I have to tell you from day one she was at the hospital with me and this is not a lover and it's not a uh, we're not married or anything like that. She's not a sister. But to have that kind of love, mercy, and oh. compassion, mm -hmm. to have someone actually come and be with someone and pour out their lives like that for 10 days was just an incredible experience. It just brought us closer as sister and brother friendship and as business So partners. tell us more about well, that story. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I think the thing that he was moving toward in speaking right now is about the spiritual aspects of this trip, about the deeper learnings that have come through this this adventure with his heart attack and stroke and the awarenesses that have come through starting to experience life by looking through a different lens by thinking yes. in new ways by speaking in new ways mm -hmm. by opening up to alternative modalities energy work healing um, really connecting with God spirit higher power, source, the I am, whatever you want to call it, the living life force, as Dave likes to call yeah. it. This part of the journey has been unbelievable, unbelievable, and we hope to share a lot more about that in the future with you. It's just been such a such an amazing gift and blessing. Every step along the way, we have just had opportunity after gift, after blessing, after opportunity, after gift, from people with unparalleled yes. talents and I can't work for a year, and yet people have been just donating money and helping. We had a prayer vigil that I was, a candlelight prayer vigil that a gal named Penny Shelton put on for me that I was told over 2,000 people participated in. It's just things like that. <clears throat> and then on top of that, uh, some of the healings I just want to share with you. I've discovered this thing I talked about uh, to Carol Ann quite a bit, but uh, um, I call it synchronicity of events, and what mm -hmm. happens is I had this exploding love come out of my heart. I was just driving my rig, and it just happened. Like right after he went raw, about six months into his yeah, raw three journey. Yeah, three or six months into the raw journey, and it just exploded out of my heart. I was crying with tears of joy, and I had not cried in 25 years. And I literally had to pull the rig over, 
and it was just this explosive love. And then like a week later, I'm thinking, okay, I got to go see a psychiatrist. I got to get off the raw food. This <laughs> is making me too whack. And then I open up one of Gabriel Cousins books uh -huh. and it, I was literally to this page where he talks about when he was a young man, he experienced this thing, he called it a tornado of love. And he talked about how it exploded through his heart. I mean, it was like, for me, it was like exploding it was exactly through the windshield of the rig. Yeah. yeah, it was exactly what I found. And I've experienced this several times. And what happens through synchronicity of events is it starts to crank to the right. She's even felt it a couple of times. It starts to crank to the right. And I know in that moment, that I'm supposed to go over this way or over this. I actually experienced it with Caroline, um, where I thought, wow, this is somebody I'm supposed to talk to. I'm meeting, I don't know why, and I don't know what's going on. Uh, she's extremely beautiful, obviously, but I mean. You, you I, told we me this before, to not about the beautiful part, but you did You did tell me the last time that we spoke that yes. you really felt called to, to talk to me again and, and to yes. do some more videos with me. And so I'm honored because um, I, I know for a fact that you're, you're, you're reaching a lot of people right now with your words that need to hear your story and uh, will be moved and inspired to, to heal their own lives. And it's exciting to me to hear this physical aspect move you into a more spiritual aspect because I can really connect with that. That's definitely oh, been right my on. personal experience yes. as well. Yes. Oh, I guess Philip's party is kicking kicking off. So. Let's, let's talk a little bit more because I think we're going to get... Um... Drowned out here. <laughs> the electronic noise can tend yeah. to uh, affect... Party yeah. in the house, so... All right, well, let me just share with you guys a couple of the experiences uh, that Trace and I have. One of them was uh, uh, we went down to spend a couple days with a couple that uh, wanted us to do the uh, Raw and Living Spirit Retreat which we have connected with and we're going to headline it that Thomas next Thomas and year. Gabriel Chavez. Yes. In the Portland area. In the area. Portland area. Portland, Amazing Oregon. Amazing people. So we end up staying with these guys for like seven days and these guys are phenomenally incredible. And uh, <clears throat> I'm always looking for people that are living the raw food life. Living it. I mean, it's, it's a part of who and what we are, like yourself. I connected so deeply with these people and this guy is like, he's, he's a genius. So anyway, he lays me down on his table and he's going to do this work on me. And my throat was paralyzed, my tongue was messed up, paralyzed yeah. too, and none of the taste No buds. feeling. Yeah, I mean, I would swallow, and it wasn't working, and I couldn't feel it. And uh, within f 30 to 45 minutes of getting off that table, <clears throat> he explained to me that, well, the, the dead nerve tissue will take time to come back. But anything that's still there that's live, right. you're going to start feeling again right away. What, what was the modality he was using on you? Some acupressure and, and various other energetic healing. Okay. Yes, and other energetic healing mm -hmm. work, it's very, yeah, mm -hmm. apropos. So I get up off the table and instantly I have feeling in my throat, and it hurts because I haven't at that point for over a month used any of these muscles in my throat. I originally thought, well, maybe it hurt because I was getting things stuck in the throat, but I realized afterwards that it wasn't just this one area right here. It was all up and down the throat. It's because the muscles were locked up. They weren't being used. It was paralyzed. Since I was really having a problem biting my tongue, I mean, it was bad, um, trying to eat food. Mm -hmm. um, I could do all the juicing I wanted, but the eating the food was, was not good. Well, it was challenging. I shouldn't say not good. So anyway, uh, since then, I've been able to swallow food much, much better. And, I mean, in that instant, I went from, I would say, 75% of the paralysis on the left side of my face here, right side of my face, the right side of the tongue and the throat was instantly gone from him doing this in less than 30 to 45 minutes. This was phenomenal. Then on top of that, we were gifted this Robert Tennyson Stevens dude that does this thing called... Conscious language. He also does something called bio-optics and he does body electronics. Yes. And uh, Thomas Chavez also does body electronics. So yeah. And this is synchronicity of events. Trace and I are talking to Thomas and Gabriel while we're coming down, and we ask him, well, have you ever heard of body electronics? Because and uh, Robert Tennyson Stevens are like, oh, we've dabbled in that a little bit. Yeah. And then we get to their house, and Thomas has written a book on the very thing. So yeah. we knew oh, so you were completely guided. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. as he's walking toward me, he's got the book toward me. Now, I'm talking Beautiful about story. we're sitting... Yeah. Less than seven days yeah, later, yeah. we're sitting in the house of the guy that wrote the friggin' book, people. Yeah, I get it. This is what it's about right, right. here. Tuning in. This is what it's Tuning about. Tuning in. Yeah. 
Yes. Guys and look at you. Look at his passion. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at his passion. If you only, I mean, if you guys could feel what I felt. Everything slowed down. I think we can. The book is coming out toward me, and I am in that moment going. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be. Yes. I am exactly where I'm supposed to be.